painting, you know, so you do need to find the balance. Now here I'm switching to a pure phthalo blue and that's fine because I do want to find the two to come in and show you guys how I plan for the week. I've been using this method for a couple of months now and this method has been kind of developed and shaped based on how I used to do it back in uni but this is a lot more condensed and more focused towards my work habits though I am still trying to find a system that works more for me. Um, so, I'm, so I'm playing around with different ideas, but currently um, I've been using kind of a semi bullet journal style of planning. So yeah, I just wanted to take you guys through how I plan and set up my planner for the week. Basic notebook here that doesn't have any dots or anything. It doesn't have any grid. It's just a simple notebook, actually. Um, it's so, but I just, you know, make do with what I have since I bought this. And first get a pen. So, let's see, next week, 
is going to be the third to the ninth. And oh, it's May already. It's really fast. Okay. So I also got this idea from a YouTuber that I am also subscribed to. So a lot of the first part is from her, but then the last part is something that I developed to help me better, um, is something that I developed that I think is a lot more better for me and geared towards my learning and productivity habits. So I like to first start with setting my intention for the week. So in this column, you would write what is one thing that you want to focus on for the next week. So for the previous week, I've actually set my intention on continue editing a writing piece. And that's the only thing that I'm going to focus on. Although throughout the week, I have a whole like list of what I need to do. But my main goal is to work on my writing piece. Okay, and then a few ways down is five core desired feelings. And in this column, you would write what is it that you want to feel in the upcoming week. So in last week, I said I wanted to just take it slow, um, have one day come out of time, and basically just be calm and relax because I don't want to rush things and I tend to always feel like if I'm not constantly hustling, then I'm wasting my time. But a lot of things need to take time and a lot of things, especially creative things, take longer amount of time and it's better done under a stress-free, non-rushed mentality. So I don't have necessarily to complete all five feelings. Sometimes I only have one or two and I think that's okay. This is just telling me what like mentally what I want to be feeling during that week. And then a couple ways down, I like to write, can't write and talk at the same time apparently. What I guess that makes no sense. What I am grateful for. And then throughout the week, I would like to fill in, this is like a little space for gratitude. So throughout the week or at the very end of the week, I like to come in here and write what I am grateful for. And they don't have to be big things. They can be very small and simple things. Like maybe throughout the week, you got to meet a friend that you haven't seen for a long time. Or throughout the week, you went on a little trip with a family member. Um, or just having your favorite coffee in the morning. Something simple, it doesn't have to be very big. Okay. And then in this next page, this is where I kind of like to break away from, from a typical bullet journal system. 
And I like to make this, I'm not sure what this is called, but I know it is used um, by a lot of people. I'm not really sure what's called though. Um, it looks like this where you have four different quadrants and you have categories like important and urgent, important, not urgent, urgent, not important, not important and not urgent and in theory this is supposed to help you prioritize your task because with all of our tasks written out in a to-do list it might feel overwhelming so distinguishing between what is a priority and what is not a priority can be very helpful with this system though, it is recommended to not have anything in the not important and not urgent category, but as humans, we will have some in this category and it's fine. Um, it's also might not be very clear to some people who have not heard about this method of organization and task sorting. It's still not very clear to me, but the most important thing about planning is making it work for you. So if you understand it, if you have key, like key, um, I guess items or icons or highlights that only make sense to you, then that's good because that's what you want. Cause you're the one who's using this planner after all. So what I'm going to do now is take my ruler and create the four different quadrants. And I am always terrible at this part since I don't, since I always sometimes make a quadrant smaller because I'm not very great at eyeballing and drawing lines but it doesn't really matter since I still will have the system down anyway so um, and then after at the very end I also like to have just like a weekly spread so make sure to have room for that so I think here is how big I want my quadrant to be. This doesn't have to be perfect. I used to spend a lot of time on making my planner looking very pretty. You know, a lot of bullet journalists, they do a lot of really pretty and cute artworks, but I just, you know, recently have not been doing that because I want to focus more on organization and planning than making my planner look pretty. Okay, and then one down the middle, I guess just eyeball. I'm not very really great at that. It's okay though. Okay, and then finding the middle horizontally. So now we have our four quadrants. And now we want to label our quadrants with urgent, not urgent, important, and not important. And now we're going to go in with our weekly spread. So again, taking my ruler, I'm just going to make a mini ch calendar or chart.
and we're going to have three different columns. So we're just going to try our best to eyeball it. Okay, and you can stop here if you want to, but I actually like to go on to the next page. And for this page, I really wanted to reflect on my week. Because throughout the week, there will be many spontaneous things that can occur that will kind of push you off your track so you know you may not be able to finish a project because a project is delayed or something spontaneous just just happens so um i think for all of us we should we should appreciate the spontaneous events that happen in our lives and not be too strict with ourselves in following our plan exactly. I think if we have a very free mindset, then our task will be a lot more easier to approach. So I am going to create a very simple I'm basically just going to write um, which is just end of week reflection. You don't really have to write this since you already know this is um, just a space to write notes as well as any thoughts that I have throughout the week. Um, like if something happened during the week and you know I just really wanted to record it then I can do it here. And I can look back at the previous week and um, kind of write about what happened throughout my week. Um, yeah. So definitely, actually, for this previous week, I forgot to do a end reflection page, but because um, I really wanted to film this for you guys, so totally forgot about that. Um, but so I just added in for this week or the next coming week. So yeah, this is pretty much it. And if you have like, um, you can also add different things. So previously I've done like habit trackers, of course, this is banded, but here I have like different habit trackers, like for hydration, Maybe like what I ate that day. So I have a study log, sleep tracker. Um, yeah, this is when I was back in uni and um, you can see I spent quite some time like making my spread. Um, and then I used to do it like boxes like this. I used to have a monthly spread, which is pretty useful. So, yeah, um, but I'm not going to do a habit tracker because um, I'm still in the process of figuring out what is it that I exactly want to focus on because there's many things I want to really focus on, um, you know, like writing every day, um, 
painting and doing art every day, reading every day, that's actually very difficult. Um, I mean, writing every day, painting every day, reading every day, that's a lot of things already. So I don't want to, right now I don't really have like a habit tracker, but if you want to put habit tracker, by all means go for it. This planner is only for you. Okay, and that's pretty much it. It's very short, um, very simple. And sometimes, since I don't want to spend too much time on making it pretty, but I still want some color, I will just come in with a marker and just color in some of my headings. This does definitely, this definitely doesn't feel, is not as pretty as some other much beautiful planners out there, but this is simple and I think it's the job done in a very effective way. You can add stickers if you want. I currently do not really have any stickers on hand, so I will not really add this in. Um, I mean, I guess I have like some stickers. I have a cactus sticker and I also have these cute like transparent cat stickers. And since this page is going to get filled up really fast, I think I'm going to add some stickers on this side. Um, sorry about the noise. I This is not a voiceover and there's a lot of things going around in my house right now. My mom is vacuuming the room next door. So I apologize for that. Um, but hopefully you can make out the gist of what I'm saying. Okay, so you have stickers. Feel free to ask stickers. I will probably use my cast stickers. Well, I think I want to use the sticker. Right here. Um, this one will go well with this, but I think I want to put it here. There we go. And I think I want to put sticker over here and a little a little egg guy right here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. That's what my page looks like. Cute. And I think I'm going to add another sticker on this page. Okay. And that is basically it. That is how I like to plan my day for the week um it's very simple and very straightforward um yeah 
please let me know in the comments if you have any different ways of organizing and planning out the week and if you even do plan out for the week i know some people don't um which is up to them obviously but yeah this is how i like to plan for the week so i think i'm gonna go now and bake um i'm craving banana chocolate muffins and it's really simple to make and i have all the greens at home so i think i'm gonna go and meet you in the kitchen Thank you. 